Hello, I'm Kevin Ristow and welcome to this Ronin Rescue Quick Clip. Today we're going to be talking about spanned anchors and why it is that we can get away with using a system like right. this. So here we've got a, a spanned anchor rigged up. We've got a, an enforcer load cell on either side. We've just got it terminated figure eights and knots on the one side, uh, round turn and half hitches on the other, and some French Prusik connections uh, in the middle here to hang our, our system off of. We have 100 kilogram uh, sandbag here. So when we first rigged the spanned anchor, it had a very wide internal angle. It was very flat, uh, upwards of 160 degrees, maybe close to 170 degrees. Just the ropes just hanging there in the air before we loaded it up the first time and put some stretch into the ropes. Those wide internal angles can be problematic because of the force multiplication that goes on. The wider the internal angle, the greater the force multiplication. At a uh, 160 degree internal angle, the force on the anchors is going to be three times that of the, the load. Uh, at 170 degrees, it's 5.7 times. So it's always important to be able to visualize what your internal angle is going to end up when we load the system up so that you can approximate the forces that your anchors are going to be seeing. So the key to understanding the forces and calculating the forces for spanned anchors or for tension lines as well is we don't do the calculation until the system is loaded. Uh, and so if you're planning these systems, you have to be able to sort of envision them. You've got to practice them beforehand uh, because you can't actually calculate it until you've loaded the system. In its unloaded state, any uh, forces acting on the anchors, that's just the initial tension in the system. In the case of a spanned anchor, it's literally just the weight of the ropes. In a tension line system, we would actually put a little bit of tension into that. But regardless of the amount of tension we put into the system, the load is the load and the impact on the anchors of suspending a load on that system is simply a result of the mass and the force multiplication due to the internal angle of those two anchor legs. Now the key difference between a tension line system and a spanned anchor is any kind of a tension line system we're actually going to put tension into the lines and for spanned anchor we don't. We terminate one end and we take as much slack out of the other end as we possibly can just with uh, pure hand strength, manpower. We aren't using a three to one or a ganging on with a four to one or a five to one. We're not using pulleys or, or any kind of mechanical advantage system to add tension into these lines. We just remove as much slack as we can by hand and then tie it off. So even though, like I said, initially this was really flat uh, and we've stretched it out a little bit. So right now it's sitting about 155 degrees. We haven't put any tension in that, there to achieve that. And uh, on a spanned anchor, we also don't have any method of limiting the force at the anchor, anchor ends. We don't have uh, limited slip devices. We don't have, we're not using uh, energy absorbers or prusiks or anything that's going to allow forces to slip. Uh, it's very simple to set up that way versus a tension line. Uh, we're putting tension in with some kind of a mechanical advantage system and therefore we actually have to have a way to release that tension if it gets too high and that's why we we'll use control devices such as a Petzl ID or an MPD or a clutch or something like that to anchor a tension line. But on a spanned anchor, uh, it's a whole lot simpler. As I raise the load, right now we've got our 100 kilogram load sitting on the ground. As I raise the load to load our spanned anchor system, what's actually going to happen first before I lift the load off the ground, I'm going to be taking the stretch out of the spanned anchor system. And you'll see the focal point displacing downwards towards the load until I take enough stretch out of the system that we finally start to pick the load up off the ground. In a relaxed state, our spanned anchor system was at approximately 150 degrees when we loaded it with our 100 kilogram mass. So we've got one kilonewton of force acting on it. Uh, we ended up with an internal angle of approximately 130 degrees. Remember that a 120 degree internal angle, uh, the forces on all the legs would be equal. So, so that's a reduction of more than 20 degrees in the internal angle. We were about 155, we're now down to 130, maybe even a little less than 130. And what that means is that the forces that, that are going to be seen at our anchors are really uh, just a little bit more than the force of the load itself. Remember, at a 120 degree internal angle, the forces on the two anchor legs as well as the load should all be equal. We're a little bit flatter than 120 degrees, like I said, right around 130 degrees. We need to load the system 
in order to calculate the force, to, to know what the forces are at the anchors. We don't calculate based on the unloaded uh, internal angle of our spanned anchor. Obviously, we put another 100 kilograms on here, a rescue load. We're going to see a little bit more stretch. We're going to see more sag and a further reduction in the internal angle as the focal point of our spanned anchor displaces towards the load. The more load we put on, the more it's going to displace, the smaller our internal angle, and the less load multiplication we're giving out of the system. And again, we do a, put a rescue load on here. This focal point is going to displace as this rope stretches. Uh, and then we get some stretch out of the knots, we reduce the internal angle even more, uh, and so that keeps our forces to a, a reasonable amount that our anchor should be able to handle. Obviously selecting good um, solid anchor points is a, an important part of rigging your spanned anchor, picking appropriate anchor points, understanding that they're probably going to be seeing somewhere around whatever load you're putting on the system is probably what the anchors are going to be seeing uh, when you're doing, again, a spanned anchor system. With a spanned anchor system, we typically see the internal angle ending up somewhere around 120 degrees with rescue size loads, about 200 kilograms. Today, with a 100 kilogram load and a very short span, our internal angle was only ever as flat as about 130 degrees when loaded. It's pretty difficult to remove enough stretch from the rope system by hand prior to loading the system to achieve an angle much flatter than that in a loaded state. Again, I'm Kevin Ristow and thank you for watching this Ronin Rescue quick clip discussing spanned anchors and why we need to calculate the forces acting on them when in a loaded condition versus an unloaded condition. I hope you found it uh, informative and enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out uh, on any of our social media or on our website. Once again, thank you very much.